I'll start things off with the brown shell dog whelk in attack mode. Because its dark coloration makes it warmer than its lighter cousin, it's more common on coasts exposed to waves, where it can cool off using the salt spray. In that case, I'll summon the white shell dog whelk in defense mode. Because its white shell reflects light, it's more common on sheltered coasts, as it doesn't need the salt spray to cool it off. I'll follow up my whelk with another mollusk, a tropical snail in attack mode. The ridges on its back help regulate its temperature, much like a car radiator. Your foolish mollusks are in attack mode, making them prime targets for this thunderstorm. Because your mollusks don't have their shells closed like mine do, they die from the sudden decrease in salinity. Now my mollusks attack his life points directly. Well, there's no way I'm falling for that trick twice. Go brown shell dog whelk in defense mode. It looks like I'll need a better way to get through your mollusk wall. I sacrificed my whelk to summon the horseshoe crab. Its ventral mouth makes it a prime predator for mollusks. It looks like I'll need to bring out the big guns. I summon a prawn, which I'll sacrifice to summon a rock pool fish. They can tolerate more extreme temperatures and salinities than their open water cousins. Summoning that fish has left your mollusk wide open for attack, and because my horseshoe crab eats your mollusks for breakfast, it receives a 1000 attack bonus. Go horseshoe crab, destroy his brown shell dog whelk. I gotta keep that thing from attacking my life points directly. Go another brown shell dog whelk. Gotta do better than that Joey. I play Sheltered Coast, which makes your dog whelk lose 1,000 defense points a turn because of the increased heat. Meanwhile, I'll play a white shell dog whelk, which is immune to the increased heat because of its lighter shell. I'll save my mask by playing the lighter shell card, giving it the lighter color adaptation and returning its defense points back to normal. It looks like I'll have to be super sure about destroying that thing. I'll sacrifice my whelk to summon a spider crab. Because of its powerful pincers, it can eat slow moving prey like your little mollusk, giving it 1000 extra attack points. I attack it using both my horseshoe crab and my spider crab. Not so fast. I used the Reduced Activity card to increase my creature's defense points by 1,000. Joey, you're not even using that card right. That's for combating salinity and temperature, not predators. Anyway, your puny mollusk's defense is still no match for both of my predators. You've put up a good fight, Tristan but you've forgotten about my little fish. It's the favorite food of the osprey, the top predator of this food chain. I sacrifice my fish to summon the unstoppable osprey, and because my osprey is a flying monster, your land-based monsters can't block it. Go osprey, attack his life points directly. No way! That's unbelievable!